Video footage has been released, showing the aftermath of the Ukrainian drone attack on Morozovsk airfield located in Russia's Rostov region. The footage has been shot by Russian soldiers. On August 3, drones belonging to the Ukrainian army attacked the Morozovsk airport where Russian Su-34, Su-35 and Su-30 fighters were stationed. The Morozovsk military airfield, located more than 160 miles from Ukraine's front line, hosts Russian tactical Su-27 and Su-34 fighter bombers, used to launch airstrikes against Ukraine. The enemy's aviation arsenal has been completely destroyed. Large areas of scorched earth are visible from the secondary detonation of Russian ammunition on the territory of the airfield and around it, Ukrainian intelligence said in a statement on Telegram. Kiev was behind an attack on the Morozovsk military airfield, as well as a number of oil depots, Ukraine's general staff of the armed forces said. The Morozovsk air base has been targeted by Ukraine's security service multiple times throughout the war. Uh, yeah, but there's no... Ukraine has been given ex-Danish F-16s with all the upgrades you would expect, plus some extra equipment that could be very useful for the war-battered Ukrainian Air Force. According to Forbes, based on the published images, the Ukrainian F-16s are equipped with infrared guided AIM-9 missiles and radar guided AIM-120 missiles, which highlight the possible role of the F-16 in air defense. The publication's journalists also drew attention to the missile pylons. The pylons in the middle of the wing include built-in self-defense systems, critical systems for fighters operating in dangerous airspace. And to be clear, there is currently no airspace in the world more dangerous than over Ukraine, the publication noted. These defenses include the integrated pylon distribution system and the integrated pylon electronic countermeasure system, PIDS and ECIPS. Both are produced jointly by Israeli firm Elbit and partner Terma in Denmark. European F-16 operators began installing the upgraded pylons several years ago. The PIDS emits metallic reflectors and flaming flares to deceive incoming radar and infrared guided surface-to-air missiles. The ECIPS contains passive defenses to complement the active reflectors and flares, including the AN stroke ALQ-162 jammer to suppress ground radars and the AN stroke AAR-60 missile warning system to trigger passive defenses. Together, the PIDS and ECIPS provide the F-16 with comprehensive protection against a wide range of enemy missiles. For the Ukrainian Air Force, these self-defense capabilities meet a pressing need. It is inevitable that the invaders will shoot down some, perhaps many, F-16s, but PIDS and ECIPS can delay these losses and save the lives of pilots, the publication stated. How effective PIDS and ECIPS will be depends largely on how the Ukrainians deploy their F-16s. If the fighters primarily fly air defense missions deep inside Ukrainian territory, they may only have to deal with the longest range Russian missiles. But if the F-16s fly a lot of ground attack missions just over the front lines, they will face much heavier enemy fire. The publication noted, at the end of July, the media reported that Ukraine had received its first F-16 fighters. At the same time, it was said that the Ukrainian armed forces had allegedly received six fighters from the Netherlands.